Um, I, I, I'm like to speak about my uh, painting uh, situation and my, my painting process, which is uh, also very related to uh, a process of, of painting which has been uh, realized during the 60s and the 80s. Uh, I don't want to say that uh, this type of painting is, is, an, uh, uh, is a revival of, of the 80s or 60s painters. Um, between us, there's also a very huge difference between painters from the 60s and painters from the 80s. But uh, um, my, my painting is this definitely not not an, uh, a re revival of the 80s. So, but uh, my, my paintings are uh, also um, um, uh, the idea of finding a new style and. and uh, Ma making paintings, making illusions, working with this very, very old material, with this oil colors uh, uh, and, and acrylic colors and canvas, and uh, this is just a uh, very, very related thing. But uh, uh, to, to the eighties, because there were lots of experimental uh, things that have been done in the eighties and the sixties, and, and we do not have to to. Uh, uh, to revival it, we, we have to transform it. it it's like the, in, in, in the music scene where um, uh, where musicians now use the elements from from the from the 80s and and uh, put them back in, 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 in now and transform it in, in, in a new style because it's, it's not uh, if you transform it, it doesn't mean that that uh, you you uh, it's not a karaoke in a way, so that means uh, you you transform it, but it doesn't mean that that uh, you reproduce it. So this is the way. This is more a laboratory way of, of using using colors at this time, and uh, you, you mix it with elements from from the 60s and mix it with elements from 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 the 80s, and uh, find find to create a new style, which is uh, a, a more uh, expressive style, so that means we, we can. Uh, I, I always use the information uh, from 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 artists and painters who, who were painting before before I was was born, and uh, I, I actually use use the material and the information. And um, I, w I was lots of studying the, the, the history of art and, and painting, like like uh, which which was very Im impressive for me as well, like painters like like Max Beckmann. Uh, which is a very, uh, in a way, I would say, it's a German tradition, uh, or, or painters like uh, Ernst Ludwig Kirchner, who use uh, figurative elements uh, again, and, and uh, create uh, create a new style, or, or painters uh, from, from the 80s, uh, which, which were also related, were well, working sometimes very monumental and, and uh, sometimes very slow and very expressive and. and uh, uh, they use this, uh, that color in a pure form in, in, in a very very expressive uh, style, and and uh, find find this find this idea of, of uh, pure painting, uh, just use the art as, as as an artwork or let their artwork an artwork be or or uh, just just uh, let let their art speak for for itself. This is uh, the, the the moment that, that um, we have uh, to discuss what, what an artwork is. For me, for me, uh, um, my, my first input of, uh, of of a very good artwork was was a painting. So, um, my, my I remember when when I was 16, I, I traveled to, uh, to to Paris alone and. Uh, uh, I, I saw the first the first paintings uh, of uh, painters who were impressed myself, so uh, the French painters, um, and and uh, this, this is something that, that impressed me so so much that I, I decided to to be a painter. So that that was the reason for for starting to paint. So that is why I'm very interested in in color and in uh, the expression of color. And uh, how how you can how you can work with this material because there are fantastic materials. Thank you.